It's great to be here tonight. I want to tell you just a little bit about myself. Um, so I grew up in El Paso, Texas. It's right on the border between the United States and Mexico. My father had a small business. Uh, it's a yonke. That's what we call a junkyard back home. So this yonke, it was my playground. You know, as I got older, I was also starting to grow a little bit ashamed of it because I felt society judging me and my border crossing family as low class, dirty, ugly. You know, with my brown skin and dark hair, um, I grew up feeling invisible. I watched television broadcasts, both from the United States and from Mexico, because pop culture just crosses the border pretty freely. Um, but it didn't matter, you know, on both sides, all I saw were white people. And I never saw anyone who looked like me. Um, so I, I also, like, that made me feel like I didn't matter. You know, my Spanish was broken, my English, it felt foreign and almost as busted as like one of my dad's um, Buicks, you know, <laughs> um, that's what it felt like. But uh, I started to think about that and I started to really look at what he was doing in this yonke and the rebuilding that he does, the pra th that practice of rebuilding was something that really struck me. And I felt like um, the way that he would take parts from wrecked cars and put them back together to build something new, it, it instilled something in me. It was this value of looking at the discarded with potential. So I took this idea of the yonke to uh, create my first film. And in the 90s, that's how I approached filmmaking, through scraps. I would take home movies, uh, orphaned films from archival houses, and I would mix them together with new uh, images and sounds to create stories that were relevant to me, where I could see myself represented. And these films, they started to do well in festivals. They um, were accepted you know, in, in very various festivals and arts organizations started to invest in my career. And uh, over time, my practice has grown uh, and I've expanded my storytelling and I've been making award-winning work for about 20 years now. Um, <laughs> thank you. The work has garnered some of the most uh, coveted uh, recognition in the field. You know, I've uh, gotten like the Sundance Audience Award, um, the Rockefeller Media Fellowship. And then most recently, a few weeks ago, I was awarded a MacArthur Fellow. <laughs> Thank you. I founded this company with my partner, uh, Alex Rivera, and he is also, he was just recently named a MacArthur Fellow as well. So with, <laughs> together with our company, you know, we're ready to grow and to impact the film industry by producing beautiful, well-crafted stories that are centering brown lives and elevating storytelling with these beautiful images. You know, um, we all know that our communities are often depicted as a kind of junk, you know, like alien, um, disposable criminal, but we know that our communities are powerful, nuanced, and they are, um, they, they're worthy of this rebuilding that we need to do. So I would like to um, ask you to join me, you know, in creating these images to transform stories so that we can think about justice and dignity. Uh, so yeah, so my name is Christina Ibarra. And um, I'm a multi-award winning filmmaker. Uh, my stories have disrupted old narratives and they will continue to. And I, I'm a culture shifter. So.